Hello again and welcome to the video and today I'm going to do a review of the 118 scale Mini Champs resin model of the McLaren Honda MCL32 from the Chinese Grand Prix 2017. This is a car driven by my countryman Belgian Stoffel van Dorn in his first full season in Formula 1. Of course he did his first race the year before in 2016 in Bahrain subbing for Fernando Alonso who had a massive crash in Australia just a few weeks before and wasn't clear to race so uh, Stoffel had to jump into the car and did a great job by the way and this is the model of that particular race I'll review it on a later day but yeah let's move to this 2017 car and the half scale helmet as well as I usually have those combinations if available of course and um, yeah, this is the bell helmet of Stoffel van Dorn, signed on the visor and uh, upgraded with all the uh, possible upgrade parts, as you can see, like the aero parts, the pivot screws, the visor tear-offs, the spoiler at the front and the black hands rings. A very cool design with the number 2 on it, the chosen number of Stoffel. And then the inside lining, I changed it also to white as he ran uh, the white lining at the end of the season, his best period in Formula 1 arguably, um, as opposed to the black lining he had before. So I changed it to a late spec, late season spec let's say, so it's uh, not actually a good combination with, uh, with the model. And there's another 2017 helmet I have of Stoffel and it is of course his Spa Grand Prix special helmet, special edition helmet for his home race where he uh, decided to have another a different design in uh, matte white and black with all the cartoon or comic book drawings on it of his career cars. Belgium of course being famous as well for the comic book industry and uh, yeah so it's pretty cool to see all of his important career cars drawn on his helmet and as I said here a special spa helmet for 2017 and of course his McLaren on the side as well and then I added some nice details like the uh, Belgian colored hand rings which were on there in real life of course and then all the other stuff like the visor screws and the tear offs and the spoiler the lip spoiler at the front and uh, as I said this was signed as well by Stoffel, the Belgian color number two as well. So yeah, very cool little helmet. I wasn't too much of a fan of the design at first, but now if I see it uh, in the half scale, I'm pretty happy to have it and it looks pretty cool actually. But uh, we're here to have a look at the model, so let's do that now. Let's move the helmets and have a look at the resin McLaren model. So typical mini champs base which has been signed as well by the way so um, and the uh, typical chrome plaque with all the details on it yeah um, the model is overall pretty good I have to say I have a pretty good feeling about it very plain very simple model very simple car it was as well uh, not too complicated stuff on it and uh, at first glance it looks really good. I'm happy they decided to use the Chinese Grand Prix version as well with the extra T-wing on top of the, the shark fin there because uh, the first race was of course in Australia and the car was slightly different. So let's have a look at those details of this model and uh, as always let's start at the front with the front wing. We have all the cascades. They are not cut out but you have those uh, nice looking metal colored parts, the slot gap separators and everything and they look quite good. They are nicely modeled, very refined. The same can be said of the turning vanes and the flaps on the front wing end plates as well. It looks really nice. Then the nose of the car with the three distinctive gills in it, they're not actually cut out either. As you can see they're just blackened out which is a bit of a shame, it would have looked better if they were actually cut out. And then you have these uh, cameras 
on the side of the nose which are carbon textured the big brake ducts look quite good I think and the suspension is nicely modeled as well and you have this uh, scoop which uh, also is not really cut out which is a bit of a shame I had to add the Chandon logo to the nose as well um, because basically all of the alcohol advertisement is missing on this car then the wheels were quite good with the red L and R's for the left and right and I added some extra decals and uh, tire markings because I always do that and uh, yeah very nice is the um, wheel nut the different color wheel nut as well gold on the right and red on the left then the underside of the cockpit is nicely done as well lots of detail with the turning vanes and that chrome thingy on uh, on the tea tray then Johnny Walker logos as I said I had to add it on the barge boards which are not too detailed but yeah they're not very intricate they weren't really very intricate in real life either and all these turning vanes on top of the side pod as well and uh, the Johnny Walker logos that had to be added on the mirrors and then to the cockpit and the helmet looks quite okay they tried to replicate the shape with the uh, spoiler at the back and the xylon strip at the visor and I had to add the Johnny Walker logos on the visor strip and on the side of the helmet as well but the helmet is uh, nicely done in my opinion the rest of the figurine is not too bad either with the seat belts and, and the photo etched belts uh, buckles which look quite okay the steering wheel is nicely done as well with the uh, McLaren Deloitte sponsorship on it the shape of the steering wheel is correct and uh, it's nicely decaled as well and then at the front of the cockpit the bulk head I uh, experimented a bit with uh, carbon fiber layering but I'll change that on a, at a later point and you have those leg protectors as well that I tried to replicate but anyways let's move on to uh, yeah, this little pull ring the electrical shutoff ring which I really like on both sides of the airbox by the way so um, yeah, that's a little extra that mini champs usually do and uh, yeah I really like that little piece the floor of the car is not too complicated you have then one big cutout which is not actually cut out which is a bit of a shame of course you have the nice uh, bolts in the side pod and then as you can see quite plain floor of the car then on the shark fin I had to add the Chandon sponsorship and as I said the shark fin has a T-wing on top which they used from the Chinese Grand Prix on if I am correct the rear suspension is quite okay with the uh, brake ducts intricate brake ducts especially at the rear and then the rear wing end plates look quite good the gills on top are not cut out as you can see they do have the little trick reverse cutouts on the inside which make it look like it's cut out but it is not of course then the DRS thingy looks quite okay nothing too special about that the way it connects to the exhaust is a bit weird that it's just one piece but okay can we forgive then you have this big hole on the side of the rear wing end plates which uh, almost every team uses now but McLaren were the first to use that and uh, it's nicely replicated it's a bit of a shame again they didn't cut out those gills it would have looked even better with the cutouts the diffuser is quite plain and uh, here again the inside of this uh, big hole and these uh, gills then here you have the exhaust with the uh, wastegates pipes and uh, it's a bit of a shame it's all like fused together in plastic and then the little monkey seat you have there hanging in front of the exhaust just uh, a nice detail so yeah a pretty good model I believe 
um, the model, the car itself, I wasn't a big fan of it, the color scheme and uh, well, it wasn't a good car either, so I don't think it would be very popular with the McLaren fans or even Formula 1 fans in general, but uh, I'm happy of course to have it in my collection, the first full season car of uh, my countryman Stoffel van Dorn, uh, and uh, I'm very happy to have it, especially in combination with the half-scale helmet, the half-scale helmets I have to say, because it Spa Grand Prix is also from 2017. So yeah, I hope you uh, enjoyed the review and uh, thank you for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye!